Well, these are dark times for Saint-Étienne. Since a 3-1 win over Metz in October, the Ver have picked up just three points in eight games, slumping to heavy defeats against rivals Lyon, Bordeaux and Marseille. While club presidents Roland Romier and Bernard Cayazzo look to provide reassurance before this game in a press conference, confidence is low after the shock exit of coach Oscar Garcia in November. Perhaps not the ideal time to be taking on the reigning champions Monaco. Well, Leonardo Jardim's side might not be the flamboyant attacking outfit they were last season as they stormed to the title. They're doing a very solid job in the league. They came into this one looking to go second after back-to-back -back wins. Another headache for Saint-Étienne is that Julian Sable doesn't have the required license to coach in Ligue 1 Conferama. And the club risk a €25,000 fine per game if he stays in charge. Assistant coach Jean-Louis Gasset could therefore take over from Wednesday when Levert travelled to Gangon. But the two men have some serious work to do. Monaco requiring just four minutes to take the lead through Gibral Sidibe. The French international sweeping in after Keita Balde's effort was blocked. Well, both stands behind the goals at the Stade Joffre Guichard, closed after the incidents during the derby against Lyon. It was a rare moment for the home fans to get excited about. Kevin Monet Paquet almost getting on the end of Wagner Diaz Gonçalves' cross. But Monaco made it 2 0 shortly after the half hour mark. Balde involved again, squaring for Thomas Lamar and the French international took care of the rest. Lamar on the score sheet for the first time since his six-week injury layoff. That's his second goal of the campaign. So the champions in cruise control and going in at half-time with a 2-0 lead. This turning into a very good week for Monaco. They managed to snatch a dramatic win over Troyes last Saturday before beating Caen 2-0 on Wednesday to set up a League Cup quarter-final against Nice. Into the second half and the visitors continue to pile the misery on their hosts. Goal number three arrived in the 53rd minute from a Gian Matinho corner. Lever failing to clear their lines, and in the end, Fabinho poking home from close range. Well, there was more than a hint of offside about that one. That was certainly how the Saint Etienne players felt. A bad night getting even worse for Lever as their goalkeeper, Stefan Ruffier, was given his marching orders for speaking a little bit too aggressively to the linesman. That's his first red card in over 350 League and Conferama appearances. Now Fabinho clearly onside at the start of the action, but he appeared to have strayed off when Radamel Falcao got a touch on the ball back in. Either way, the goal stood, and the Brazilian getting his third of the campaign. Saint-Étienne president Romeo also furious with that decision. So that was 3-0 and Balde made it 4-0 just after the hour mark. Senegal International capping off a fine individual performance. Lovely strike. That for his fourth of the season. Wrapping up a straightforward win for Monaco. They were back up to second ahead of Lyon's game with Marseille on Sunday night. And that's now nine games without a win for Saint-Étienne, who were just two points above the relegation playoff place.